Well, good afternoon, viewers, and welcome to another video here on YouTube. And believe it or not, I'm not actually at Buckingham Palace, even though I'm looking at Pe Buckingham Palace. I'm at Legoland Windsor Resort and just having a quick look around the uh, really nice mini village, the Lego mini village. You can see there the sights of London. We've got a few other little bits for you beforehand as well to open up the video. All the main sites of L London made purely from Lego so I know I'm going to bring him in very shortly apologies also for the lack of video from Fort Park I inadvertently deleted all my videos managed to get the Chessington one on and then like a burk just totally wiped all the the other footage off so apologies for that it weren't a very good video anyway and I will be back there on Tuesday for a, a lot better video. So, yeah, gonna do that. The River Thames. Skyscrapers over there. This is... You're loving that one, aren't you? Yeah. It's Dan joining me again today on this one. He's loving that. I'll be loving something else very, very shortly coming around the uh, the railway line, but just showing you the different different sites. This is absolutely amazing, guys. You've got to get out to Legoland and look at this. I will show you some rides very, very shortly. Are they, are the HST's going that way? One minute, I'm going to uh, try and get... Right, I think this little area is replicating the Isambard Kingdom Brunel Bridge in Plymouth, and this one's for me, followers who work on EMR with me. Look at that, that is absolutely amazing. Also, this little bit, the video is for Lego Guard. You know who you are, mate. I know you love your Lego, so... Yeah, happy days. That is sick. Absolutely sick. Anyway, I'll get a bit more up, up from this area, and then I'll walk down, bring you some rides, a bit more Lego, and then I'll close it off somewhere. But yeah, lovely area, this Lego land, really nice. Oh my God, Brighton Pier. Not sure about the uh, choice of rides, but <laughs> oh, that is banging! Absolutely banging! Sorry, guys. I know I'm in awe at the minute, looking at all this. Just great. I can share it with you. Santa Pod Racing Speedway. This is taking me back to Merivale Village in Great Yarmouth. It's the best thing I've seen since then. So from New York to Hollywood, I'll get the uh, Amtrak in there as well. All the way across the world to Egypt and the pyramids. Yeah, I recognise this nicely. Main building in Brussels. Been right past that on my travels. Right guys, I'm going to show you some rides, but yeah, this is the 
little mini village. Yeah, you've got a quaint little boat ride here that you steer around. So you've got the characters as well. Lego characters in the unique dual loading station. Loads on either side. Very nice, very nice ride. Yeah, the haunted house monster party. Oh, hey there, the Vakuma madhouse. I haven't been in there. I'm yeah, not that bothered about madhouses, to be honest Firstly, with you. Yeah, the absolute stonking zebra jet ski ride. I just challenge, yeah, stonking. That's all I've got to say about it. First one I've ever done today, this. Really got some quite unique flat rides here. Yeah, we've got the, uh, the other one going around just, just behind it. Fortunately, you can hear the planes, you can't see them. It's just starting to rain. We've had a bit of a rain shower, so the cloud is low. But yeah, that is well wicked. Get yourself on it if you're ever here. And the new 2021 flight of the Sky, sorry, Sky Lion indoor ride. I'm not going to spoil too much and tell you what's in there. But what I want to say. If there was the option of 3D glasses, then that'd be up there probably as one of my top five flats. Really, really enjoyed it. Not particularly intense, but very, very enjoyable. The fire and ice free fall rides. Just thought I'd just show you a little clip of that. I think these are SBF Visa. Very similar sort of thing over at Adventure Island and other parks but look at that at the top look at the light in there don't know if that does it justice really because i'm having to zoom in but yeah it's not nice to include a few junior rides for the viewers who have kids so there are plenty of plenty of little rides here Yeah, and this little ride reminds me a lot of, I think it's Rotator Saw at Flamingo Land that used to be at American Adventure. Really nice. Little Ferris wheel stroke, teacup ride. That goes round. Yeah, and I forgot what they call it. I think they just call it Pirate. It's a pirate ship here. Us rides opened in 2010. Yeah, typical us really, not particularly intense. So if you're looking for the intensity uh, ones, get on the Zamperlas and whoever manufactured that one on Monday at uh, Chessington, I forgot who they were, but that, that was pretty intense as well. So, but yeah, some good onboard sound as well. Some good theming around the rides. Keep getting, trying to get little bits of Lego as I'm walking around. Right, log flume next. Yeah, sorry, I just missed a drop there. But yeah, this ranks among my top log flumes. This one is an SBF Visa group. Log flume, beautiful little ride. You've got the Lego characters as you go around. You've got the little indoor bit there before the drop. You get lots of sp sp spraying going on. You get quite wet, there you go. Got the splash down. You get particularly wet down there. Really do like that log flume. 
And it's my first FBF visa one as well, I think. Never done one of them before. Yeah, another quick clip of the pirate ship. It's actually called Jolly Rocker, this one. There the us pirate. Yeah, and it looks like it's finished for the day. Merlin's challenge. The Sea Stone, believe it or not, ride by Mac. Really nice on there. A little bit uncomfortable. But a nice ride all the same. Look at the Lego trains, really nicely themed. Right guys, I know this is awful off-ride, but it's the best I'm going to do. Unfortunately, there's a big fence here blocking, obscuring most of the coaster, but this is the Dragon WGH Transportation. Same as Rhombus Rocket, Jellikins, the one at Joyland, forgot that, Spook Express. I'll get it coming off this second drop anyway, get a good angle of that. It reminds me a lot of a Zero Tivoli, this one. It really does say behind there, these there's the fence and whatnot. You can't really do anything. But yeah, really nice ride, nice indoor bit as well before you go into the outdoors. And in conjunction with Dragon, you've got Dragon's Apprentice, which is also a WGH coaster. Just behind there, it's in the station at the minute. Might be closed down for the day. But yeah, some Great theming in there as well. Some Lego, really nice. Right, I'm gonna close things off down here. This was his first ride of the day actually, Laser Raiders. Very similar sort of ride to the one at Paulson's Park that I did in the summer. Dan beat me, he always does though, he always does. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it with a mixture of Lego and rides as well. And a bit more theming in there as well. You've got the little Ziera sky swing there. Uh, sorry, wave swinger there. You've got a little carousel there as well. Get yourself down here. I've really had a very enjoyable day. Got a really good vibe off the park. We didn't actually get here until 12 o'clock. Well, gone 12 o'clock because there was a bit of a fiasco with the buses. Dan's just messaged me, he's going to meet me up the hill, so better be quick in closing things off. So, but we made the most of it, everything's been more or less on a 5 minute, 10 minute queue line throughout the day, so it's been pretty good, I've really really enjoyed it. So anyway, on Saturday I'll be down at Breen, hopefully to bring you a better vlog than I did back in May, hopefully things will be open. I'm really looking forward to getting back on Astro Storm, the KMG Afterburner, a few rides I'm really looking forward to get on there. So, right, I better go and see Dan, he's gonna be wondering where I am. So for this one, it is true half for now. Get yourselves down to Lego Land Windsor. Really enjoyable day. So glad that I came here instead of Alton Towers. It's true half for now, yes, and I'll see you soon. Take care.